Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home. I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. Uh, I've done a lot of Blu-ray and 4K updates and collection videos, but I've never really showed off what I think is the most impressive thing I have, which is my entire home theater and, and movie room. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna give you guys a full tour of this room. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff here to go through. All kinds of good stuff to walk through you through and show off. And I'll, I'll walk through some of my collection, show you some of the cooler pieces that I have, uh, tell you where you can get them, things like that. But, you know, we've got almost 2,000 uh, Blu-rays and 4K movies in this room alone, as well as some really cool collectibles. So uh, I'm going to go through all this stuff. It's going to be kind of a long video, but, you know, stick around to the end. I think it'll be worth it. Um, and without further ado, here we go. So first thing on the outside of the room here, um, I've got a few posters. We've got the Deadpool IMAX poster, um, a couple old school American in Paris and Singing in the Rain. And then I also have a Star Wars uh, Force Awakens IMAX poster. On the other side of the room here, I've got uh, Jon Snow's sword. This is Longclaw. Uh, this comes up off the wall, but right now it's mounted. It has the whole uh, speech from, uh, sorry, the oath from the Night's Watch on the backdrop. And then the sword is uh, pretty real, as you can see. So then if you come in the front door here, I've got my uh, Jason mask. I had a guy on Instagram make this for me. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, a lot of detail went into that. And then I've also got an Interstellar uh, IMAX poster. That's, uh, you got that at AMC for being one of the first people to see Interstellar and IMAX. Moving on now, this is what you've probably seen a lot of as a backdrop. Um, this is my biggest shelf for the movie collection. Uh, floor to ceiling here, huge shelf. There's probably around a thousand movies just here on the top and all the way down through the bottom. Uh, so this is really my big one. I'll walk you through a couple of ways that I have it sorted right now. It's a little bit crazy because I, I recently moved and set this whole room up. But I'll show you how I've sorted basically on this shelf. And i got to start to sort ABC order uh, soon. But I'll give you a quick look. at. So top row here is basically all Scream Factory, Show Factory titles. A lot of slip covers. As you can see, I try to get everything I can with the slip cover. Uh, and then I've got a lot of stuff without it as well just because I missed out on the original slips. I've also got my Arrow video releases here, as well as the new uh, Ice Cream Man from Vinegar Syndrome. So this is kind of my like boutique horror, um, Scream Factory, Shell Factory. I keep kind of all my cool horror movies up here. Now this row is my Criterion Collection. These are actually numbered in order. I keep them as I get them, I number them. Um, I've got quite a few of these right now. I really would like to get some more this year. Um, but I've got all the basics, I think, so far as well as a couple of box sets that I'll show you later. But this entire shelf is all Criterion Collection. Next up here on this shelf, this shelf is entirely 4K movies. So a lot of these are newer releases. Um, I've been able to fill the entire shelf plus some at this point. I've got about 50 uh, 4K movies, a few more here, some newer ones, Blade Runner, It, Dunkirk. Um, so I'm overflowing already on one shelf. I'm gonna have to expand to a second one, but Gives you an idea of what I've got for 4K so far. And then this is the last themed shelf here. So basically I've got all my Marvel movies in Star Wars here. And then it goes into Disney, uh, Studio Ghibli. And then uh, again, more Disney movies with all the slip covers on this side. So this is pretty much an entirely Disney shelf from Marvel, Star Wars, uh, animated stuff. The, the anime from Ghibli, uh, Studio Ghibli and... Um, then all these slip covers here. A uh, lot of really cool slip covers. I, I try to keep as many uh, Disney movies together as I can. I always try to get them with a slip. Um, so I've had a pretty good uh, success rate so far. I'm missing a few. So if anybody's got any out there for like Peach Dragon, Alice in Wonderland, um, Lilo and Stitch, you know, Toy Story 3, 101 Dalmatians. Anyone's got any of these, leave me a comment. Like I'm definitely interested in, in maybe picking some up. Other than that, the rest of this is kind of just a, a mess of movies. I got to organize this a little bit better. I'm basically just, I get them so fast, I'm putting them on the shelves as I get them. But uh, these three shelves here are all just miscellaneous movies. And then I just have those theme shelves up above. If you've been following me on Instagram, uh, then you know I'm a pretty big sports fan, especially New England sports. So I've got some of that stuff here as well. 
Uh, this was signed to me from Wes Welker, played for the Patriots. Uh, I've got all the championship rings. This is Mickey Ward. Uh, this is an autographed glove, Mickey Ward the Fighter. If you've seen the movie The Fighter, this is the guy it was based on. Uh, I got that glove signed by him. I've got a Funko Pop here, Michael Myers. This is signed by John Carpenter. Uh, a couple signed baseballs for some Hall of Famers. Uh, Penny Hardaway signed basketball. He was one of my favorites as a kid. And then uh, Bruins Puck, my ESPN 30 for 30 set. Um, basically, this is just my entire kind of sports collection. I am a big sports fan as well. So had to make sure I got that into the man cave, the, the home theater room. So now on this shelf here, this is a two-story shelf. Um, again, it is a little bit hard to see, so I did put the flash on here. Um, but this is pretty much miscellaneous stuff as well, although I do have some themed, uh, like this is the Quentin Tarantino collection. There are some Best Picture winners over here. Um, have a couple things on display that I thought were cool that I got recently. And then, um, you know, some box sets. This is also where my Criterion box sets are. So I have the Before Trilogy and the Zaitochi box set. Um, I keep those down there. And then, as you can see, it's a lot of kind of newer movies, Free Fire, Glass Castle, um, Wind River, stuff I've gotten recently that I just need to throw on a shelf. Um, pretty much ends up on these two shelves here. Now over on these shelves real quickly, um, I'll get to that stuff later, but I have my DVDs here, some sports ones, Beavis and Butthead, uh, some, just some memorabilia stuff, a couple box sets for Blu-rays that I didn't have room for, Blu-ray overflow here, some newer stuff again, Stronger's in there, um, some more Blu-ray overflow, um, and then these are just bottle caps I've been keeping to try to make a project and a Michael Myers mask that I'm working on. Up here now, this is the uh, Avengers uh, Phase 1 set, so if you hit the button here, that lights up. This is all the Phase 1 movies. They're in 3D uh, and Blu-ray has every movie from Phase 1. And then this Batman uh, statue here I got by uh, ordering the Arkham Knight video game. This came with it. Um, I just love the statue. I love Batman so I had to have it for my collection. Moving on to the other side of the room. This is one of my uh, finished Michael Myers masks I got from somebody who makes them on eBay. Uh, I really like this one. I put a little mannequin head behind it to prop it up. Um, behind here I also have my uh, Batman animated series set so that's one of my favorites it's kind of hidden right now while I find room for it and then I've also got my Predator uh, bust set here bought this from Japan this comes with all the Predator movies um, in 3D uh, I think I think the first one's the only one that's in 3D but that's in 3D and it comes with all the other Predator movies this is removable as you can see great details here on the hairline like it, it's amazing the work they did on this bust and this guy just slaps right back on it's magnetic so that's really cool probably one of my favorite pieces in the entire collection real quickly here what what man cave would be complete what home theater would be complete without some refreshments so i do have a fridge for myself in here we got some drinks we got a little bit of food uh if we overflow downstairs but that's the beer fridge have to have it in your room uh if you're a guy and you, you're watching movies up here you gotta have your beer so moving right along here, this is entire uh, bookshelf here. More Blu-rays, I just overflowed. I took one of these Target uh, kind of cube storage things and I just put every movie I had in it. I'll go through them real quick. They're not organized, but I'll give you a quick look at all those movies too. Um, and there's some cool props and stuff on the shelf as well that I'll show you real quick. So first off on the shelf, I keep my autographed copy of Halloween. This is the 35th anniversary edition. Uh, Digibook, uh, John Carpenter signed this again to me. Very cool. Also have a Blu-ray copy of The Room signed by Tommy Wiseau. Uh, another one of my really, like, my favorite pieces in the collection. Absolutely love it. Um, then as you can see, there's just a ton of movies stacked up here. Um, you know, I'm basically just running out of room at this point. I keep all the Digibooks here. So you can see I've got a few, you know, Batman vs Superman is a really cool one. Um, with the lenticular slip from uh, Target. I've got the Texas Chainsaw 40th anniversary. Um, I've also got a lot of steel books in this section, so all my steel books are here. Um, I used to collect those a lot more. Now I've kind of slowed down with it, um, but I do still have a bunch. They're all right there. And all my Funko Pop guys are here. Um, got my Arrow video box sets in the back and actually my Star Wars VHS. That's one of my favorite things. Um, it still has the original cuts of Star Wars that haven't been edited uh, for CGI yet, so that's a really cool piece to have in your collection. And sitting on top of this shelf here, you might have noticed, um, this is the Force FX uh, Darth Vader's lightsaber. 
it's pretty real, it's pretty heavy, um, it's all made out of metal. It's basically a real movie prop here. And then if you press this button, make some great noises. And when it shuts down, so very cool. I just got that for Christmas and I absolutely love it. Um, it looks amazing in the collection. Um, and I'm a huge Star Wars and Darth Vader fan, so I had to have it. So some more overflow here, it's the Breaking Bad barrel set. A um, couple more Funkos, my Guardians of the Galaxy Steelbook, the Hellraiser Scarlet Box, um, lots of Blu-rays back here, Herzog's collection, that's from Scream Factory, got the Friday the 13th collection, um, all kinds of box sets on this side and this side, uh, you know, and just some more movies and miscellaneous stuff all around. And then we've got my man Superman here, I got one of these from a Yankee swap or something. I, I love it. I had to have them put them in the corner. You'll see what's in the other corner. It's kind of cool. So that's this whole shelf. It's a lot of knickknacks and movies, but um, it's kind of where everything falls if I don't have a great spot for it. So now my home theater system. Uh, I've got Superman here. He kind of guards the thing. Uh, I've got a Sony receiver. It's the 7.2. It can handle Dolby Atmos. Um, that sits on top of my PB2000. This is from SVS Sound. Highly recommend them. They make great stuff. Actually, every speaker in this room is from SVS. Um, here's the left speaker. This is a, a prime tower speaker from SVS. You can kind of see with the flash on the really great drivers that are behind there. And then I have their elevation speakers, um, which produce the height effects. They're not ceiling speakers, but what they do instead is, is the sound bounces, you know, comes at you this way, rather than needing to come down from the ceiling, comes right at you, but produces the height effect. Um, have the Samsung 4K TV to Quantum Dot TV. I really love it. Um, it has some great, great picture quality. Um, really can't find anything better in that price range. It was a thousand dollars, but it's a great TV. Down here, I've got my Xbox One, which is right now my main 4K player. Also got an Xbox 360. Uh, moving on, I've got my center speaker from SBS Sound. This is a nice, bulky speaker. It's solid. Uh, another Prime speaker from them. And then moving on over here, got a couple video games, got my Nintendo Mini, uh, and a couple more Blu-ray box sets. Moving on to this side quickly, another uh, elevation speaker in the same tower you saw on the left is on the right from SVS. Uh, I've got Darth Vader guarding things over here, over a picture of Darth Vader. Um, and then I've kind of got some extra seating here. Uh, I've got a table over there. That's where I keep my one of my side speakers. The other side speaker is over there by the room. You probably saw that earlier in the video, um, but they're both right on my head when I'm sitting, so it's it's perfect distance and uh, perfect height for those. Moving on to some more stuff. Uh, obviously, I said I'm a huge New England sports fan, so I've got autographed Bruins jersey, autographed Patriots jersey, autographed Celtics jersey. I've also got some autographs up here from people. That's Wes Craven, uh, John Carpenter, Al Pacino. Nick Offerman, and then uh, Ted Williams, Bobby Dorr, Jim Rice, a couple of Red Sox guys. Uh, I've also got posters everywhere in the room, as you'll see, Guardians of the Galaxy. There's a Pulp Fiction. This is a hockey stick signed by the entire Bruins team that I won. Um, then I've got the two Star Wars posters. Um, my favorite movie by far, Empire Strikes Back. And then I got this one from the Disney Movie Club, which is a double-sided poster, really cool, just like it came out of the theaters. So kind of last but not least here, um, I haven't covered the seating. I'll show you guys that real quick. It, it's really cool theater seating, basically just like you'd get at an AMC or show, uh, showcase cinemas with the recliners, cup holders, everything. So I'll dive into that right now. So I've got two seats here, uh, two cup holders. You got a storage system in here. Uh, you can put whatever you want, it's pretty deep. Uh, stick a lot of stuff in there. Keep all my remotes around here, got my Xbox controller. But then if you come down here, and pop this on the side. Give me one second. Boom, you got a recliner. Um, fully recline if you want, you can go way back, come all the way up. Um, this guy just pushes right back in. So I got two of those seats. Um, you know, if I wanna have somebody over watch a movie, uh, watch a movie with my fiance, we can, we can chill out here. Um, kind of central to the room, as you can see all the other stuff that I've already talked about these guys sit right in the middle dead on the tv dead on the speakers um you know it's a small ish room as you can tell it's nothing nothing huge but um does the job right now keeps everything i have in order um and it's a really great theater room 
So guys, that's about it. That's the whole room. That's what I have. I wanted to show you, it, uh, show it off. I show some pictures on Instagram sometimes, but nobody's ever really gotten a, a full view and it's something I'm really proud of. I kind of put this together from scratch when we moved in this place uh, and I bought this condo just about a year ago and it's, it's really coming together now. I got kind of everything I want in here. I'm, I'm settled. I've got all my equipment ready to go. Um, it's, a, it's a great spot for me uh, as being a Blu-ray 4K fan uh, to be able to sit down here review movies, watch a movie, um, you know, I have everything I could ever want to watch at this point, so um, it's a really great spot to just come hang out, chill out for an afternoon, you get a snowy day, pop in here a couple hours, you know, play some video games, watch a movie, it's, everyone should have one in my opinion. So yeah, that's about it, that's the, uh, that's the home theater tour, that's the man cave, that's the movie room, whatever you want to call it. Um, let me know if you guys like this video, it's a little different from what I've been doing. Uh, but I did want to show everything off. I've got all this cool stuff. I wanted to let you guys take a look at it, run you through some of my collections and some of my uh, props and memorabilia I have. Uh, so hopefully you liked it. Let me know. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought. If there's anything you think I should get, uh, any suggestions, definitely let me know. I'm always looking to grab some more stuff for the room. Um, and always find me on Instagram. You know, you could see a lot of pictures of this stuff pieced together on Instagram if you follow me there. Uh, we got almost 10,000 followers. You can find me at films underscore at underscore home so find me on instagram follow me send me a message say hi i'll say what's up um, but until next time guys thanks for watching jeff here from films at home signing off